What's going on everybody? Welcome back to droidlife.com. Going to show you a walkthrough today on the new Bugless Beast version 1.0 that was released uh, over the weekend from Pete. And uh, it's an ESC81 ROM, so or ESC81 build, so it works with pretty much all the new stuff. You can get to it without wiping data and cache. Uh, let me just show you really quick what you would do to install it. I've already got it up, but I'll just show you kind of a walkthrough. First thing we do is open uh, ROM Manager Premium, go into Download ROM, and look for Bugless Beast. Go ahead and tap that. You'll have two options once you get there. You just want the top one, Bugless Beast version 1.0. Go ahead and tap that. From there, you get an option to choose a kernel. Um, all of his are low voltage kernels. So if you don't like low voltage, um, you can probably swap one out afterwards. Although I've seen him sort of suggest you only use the ones he's got listed. So be a little careful there. Um, I went ahead and chose the one gigahertz slot low, seven slot low voltage. You can choose whatever you want. Um, if you go one gig and you go, okay. From there, you get to choose which theme you want. He's got a transparent theme, the Google stock theme, um, next theme, which is the one I chose, or the smoked glass, which is, you know, famous and everyone seems to love. I went ahead and chose next theme. Um, once you choose your theme, go ahead and hit OK. It will download your ROM. It might take a little bit of time. I've already got it downloaded, so mine prompted right away. Um, from here, if you're coming from a cyanogen or something like that, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and do a backup, just in case whatever kernel you chose, your droid doesn't like, um, it may stop you. So if you do a backup, at least we can go back into recovery and load your most recent backup and get you back to your most recent state. And then you can go back in and try to load another kernel and see which one likes your phone and get Bugless Beast up and running. Um, since this is an ESC81, ROM, I came over from Cyanogen 5062 and did not have to do a wipe data and cache. So if you're coming from a 5.0.6 Cyanogen, you can probably get there without doing a wipe data and cache. However, if you do run into issues, just go ahead and load up your backup again and try to try loading Bugless Beast again after that and doing wipe data and you should be okay. But I know how big of a pain that is. So I'm just telling you, I was able to do it without having any issues. So uh, then you hit okay and uh, it'll load everything up and bam, it should pop up and you got Bugless Beast going. So let's just take a look at it real quick. Back out of here. Um, I do have it up and running and I chose the uh, Helix One launcher. And I gotta tell you that there is absolutely no lag whatsoever when I hit home. I think that's actually a Helix Two issue, but this thing just seems blazing fast. It even seems a little more responsive to touch. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I'm just telling you that uh, everything works fantastic. And of course, this next theme is pretty cool. It doesn't necessarily do that smoked glass look, but it does change the look of everything. And it also gives you some of the icons that you'll see in HTC Sense, like the browser looks different, the gallery icon looks different, um, your Facebook is changed to black, which is kind of cool. Um, so it's got a whole, you know, it's got a really clean, nice look to it. Like I said, it is very fast. I can't tell you all the differences between Cyanogen because I'm not, you know, a programmer or anything like that. But it is different and it does run very well. And I know some of you get, probably get sick of us talking about Cyanogen ROMs so often. But uh, this thing definitely is blazing fast and is an excellent option for those of you looking for something. It's for something else that we haven't talked about in a while. So, uh this is uh, Pete's Bugless Beast, and it's version 1.0, and it runs on ESC81. So you can see there, firmware, let's just scroll down, firmware 2.1. I know that doesn't say 2.1 update one like most of the ROMs, but trust me, this is as new as it gets. You can see my kernel there, and you can see Bugless Beast version 1.0 down there. So anyway, if you've got any problems loading this, feel free to let me know. Um, check us out at the blog, droid-life.com, and we're out. Peace.